Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ipkiss, aka the one and only Ipkiss. First of all, probably none of you know me. I'm just gonna start off by saying my actual name is Moises. I go by Moises. That's my actual name. At my last job, people called me Mo, so you could call me Mo. But on YouTube, I just go by the name Ipkiss, or aka the one and only Ipkiss. I got um my Mets franchise. I've been playing this franchise, I think, for three years. Yeah, three years. I'm in the year. 2024 and this is game seven right now i got no ascended guard pitching this could be a chance to have a three p because i have one i won two world series back to back and now this time i could have a three p why why is this announcer so loud like are you trying to blow my eardrums away like what's going on man what's going on man i've been playing this franchise for a while now and i started making videos of it and now all of a sudden I'm just making a lot of videos on MLB The Show 22 because I always I always wanted to make YouTube videos. I always like once I was younger I used to watch a lot of YouTubers and I always wanted to make like a YouTube gaming channel and I tried before. I tried I think I tried with Minecraft. I tried with a lot of different games. I tried with MLB at one point as well, but Around that time, I would just get really self-conscious about what people thought. Right now, I still get self-conscious, but I just have to fight through that, you know? Because at the end of the day, what people say doesn't really matter as long as, as long as you know about yourself and that you know who you are. You get what I'm saying? But I just, I just never really went with it because I used to commentate and I used to act really really serious and in like real life I wasn't really like that I was I was around that time this was around I believe like middle school going into high school um, I was really like the class clown when I was like in elementary school and middle school but then over time things sort of changes and I was I wasn't really that I wasn't really that um, outgoing anymore I became more quiet but around the time I wanted to make videos I was just you know more serious in my videos and one of my friends they told me hey yo um why are you acting so serious in your videos? You know, you're really funny when it comes to when it comes to being in real life and making jokes and shit like that. But, you know, that made me a little subconscious about it because I was like, damn, he's kind of right. I'm kind of taking this video game too serious because when I play video games, you know, it's for fun. I don't want it. I don't want it to be more serious than it has to. You know what I'm saying? But. But, yeah, that happened. And then I just stopped making videos. And I just didn't have a PS4 at one point, and I wasn't really playing a lot of video games. The last, the last MLB game that I played, like really intensely, like going deep into Diamond Dynasty and just grinding in it, was probably. Oh, that's a good hit. Let's go. That's dropping. Let's go. That's a double. But last game that I really played, you could say religiously, because I was really, I was just grinding really hard in this game, was MLB 17 when Ken Griffey came into the game but after that um I moved some things happened where um my family moved and I had to sell my PS4 things like that happened where I really wasn't playing my PS let's go that's a run I wasn't really playing P oh he's probably gonna be out I wasn't really playing PS4 that often because I didn't even have a PS4 yeah eventually now I have a PS4 and I've I started playing MOB a lot and I've started to get into it again and now, oh that's gone fuck and now I'm just playing MLB the show a lot and I'm looking forward for MLB the show 22 because I'm gonna make a lot of videos on that and I'm really excited for for what's to come I'm really trying to just take this seriously and just really just really see where it goes because at one point in my life I really wanted to do this like do YouTube and stuff like that so why not just see where it takes me but yeah for this year i'm gonna be the show 22 i'm really i'm really excited for it just because at first i was looking at it in a very critical way because i haven't played the game in that long of a while so i didn't see many improvements over the years um between the last time that i play and now playing it now more but I was looking at it in a, re in a real like 
critical point of view. I even posted a video about it, about how they didn't really do nothing for Road to the Show, but I kind of see the vision where they're going for, like, um, them adding the 2v2s and the 3v3 co-op mode co-op mode that made that made me believe that they're probably they're probably trying to just add like build more more modes that are online just to see how the servers react and over time they might they might bring an online mode for road to the show i kind of believe i really believe that because i remember when diamond dynasty first came out the servers were terrible the servers were terrible and that year that it first came out, is it was more of a test to see how the servers react. And I feel like this is what's happening with with co-op mode. I feel like they're just testing how... Yeah, I'm still going to everything. They're just testing how the servers react. And then that way they can move forward into 23 with more of an understanding how many people could fit in a server. Because since co-op mode, you could do 2v2. That's four people technically in one game. But if you do a 3v3, that's six people in one game. So they're maybe trying to test out, you know, how... Oh, that was a hanger, and I deadass missed that. They're probably just trying to see how... How online reacts to so many people in one server. I hope that's why they're doing that. Ooh, that's fucking gone, bro. That's out. That's out. <gasps> He's cat. Oh, I thought he was going to catch in that. I thought he was catching that. I was about to go back to first. But yeah, guys, I just feel like maybe that's the way they're heading. I hope that's the way they're heading. I really want to try co-op mode as well because I have some friends that I want to play that mode with. Try 3v3, try 2v2, and I can also play with the subscribers as well. Right now, I got zero subscribers, but I know eventually I'm going to grow and I'm going to have subscribers because I believe it and it's going to happen. So yeah, eventually, probably have a lot of 2v2 games with subscribers and even head-to-head -head as well. Just to have fun with you guys and ooh, I'm a song at that. And I really, I really do hope they bring a road to, uh, online mode for road to this show. I'm still waiting on a Diamond Dynasty video to drop when that drops. I don't know if I'll make a video about it. I probably will. If not, yeah, I most likely will. I most likely will make a video on that. I just have to see what they talk about that about in that video. But I think they're making the video. The 31st, and then the game comes out the first. Hopefully, they don't do it at night, like some some kind of live stream reveal for Diamond Dynasty, where they where they release the game during the live stream as a celebration or something like that. That would be cool though, but hopefully not, because then I'll be more focused on the live stream and maybe miss the drop. But nah, I won't miss the drop. There's no way I'm gonna miss the drop. Oh, let's go. <laughs> But yeah, for for gameplay, for gameplay, I really I really like the I really like the new fielding thing that they brought for the perfect perfect um, throws that you could do because that's gonna bring such a like a competitive atmosphere into the game because before this used to be a very this is a very competitive game but having the ability because it's our ability if you're not really good at throwing perfect perfect or hitting perfect perfect that's on you because that's on that's on your that's on your ability with the controller so that's gonna make it more competitive in the future and I, I believe so too I'm trying to get a hit with Brian I really suck with Brian I can't hit righties with Brian I don't know if it's his batting stance he has bad stats against righties but there's some players that have bad stats against righties and I still I still am able to hit with them but with Brian I can't do shit I can't hit a single ball. You know, I was just thinking about contact swing. They're really gonna... Oh, you see? I can't hit with Brian, bro. All right, let's not get mad now. Let's not rage over franchise mode now because they're not even gonna work on franchise mode. <laughs> That's another thing I'm gonna talk about, man. See, now I'm looking at it in the point of view where I'm at because franchise just made me think about the stuff they didn't bring about franchise. But one thing that I really liked about about the the competitiveness of online what they're they're really working on that this year because they're changing a lot of things that's going to make it more competitive and it's going to balance out a lot of a lot of like um cheese plays that you could do like i remember when we used to have the bunt cheese that we used to do in diamond dynasty they took that off the next year or the year after that i don't remember but i remember we used to bunt cheese a lot in the game and they took that off immediately and now 
this year with the pitching. They're trying to do that as well. Because now if there's a penalty, if you throw like a pitch, like a changeup up in the zone, it's going to be, it's going to be harder for the pitcher to locate, locate that where he wants it. But if you throw it lower in the zone, like where a changeup's supposed to be, it's going to be exactly on that spot. Not exactly on that spot, depending if you put it perfect, perfect with pinch point, with pinpoint. But it's going to be more accurate than it would up in the zone. That's, you see right there, that's a change up up right there. If that change up, if I were playing Diamond Dynasty and I threw that change up up and I located it in, in the up and away quadrant, that would have been probably less of a chance. There would have been less of a chance of that hitting that exact location because it would have been a change up up. And typically, change ups, they go down in the zone. Obviously, man, but... You know, that's going to be real good for people who don't know where to throw pitches. Because I know there's some people who probably don't know where a changeup might go. Like, they don't know that, they don't know pitching that in depth where you won't know that maybe a sinker, most of the times it should go lower in the zone. That's going to teach them, like, oh, I'm throwing too, I'm throwing too many sinkers up. Why could that be? Oh, this pitch, this pitch is, this pitch has a better... A better probability of being a good pitch if I throw it lower in the zone or high in the zone and that brings more realism too because that's how it is in real life and stuff like that I really I really believe they are headed in a, in a good direction and I feel kind of bad because I know last year they had a lot of promotion I remember the year before as well they had a lot of promotions they were on they were on the Sony no actually they they were in the San, Sony San Diego YouTube, but they switched. Hold on, give me one second. All right, my bad, guys. So what I was trying to say is the um, the developers of MLB The Show they had the um, they had the videos that they would release about MLB The Show. They were releasing it on the PlayStation account, but once they lost that partner with them, not that they lost it, but they went on to bringing the game to Xbox. That's when they started uploading it to their own YouTube channel. And then after that, that's when COVID hit. And I know that that probably took a toll of them. I took a toll on them because there was a lot of restrictions. So maybe they weren't able to to record with. They weren't able to do the stuff they were normally able to do promotional wise or even making the game because there was a lot of restrictions. Maybe a lot of them have to work from home. You know, I know that that brought a lot of restrictions and hopefully hopefully that's why I have a lot of hope for MLB 2023 because now I know that COVID is a little more more gone down not all the way there's still some people who are experiencing the bad side of COVID not that there's no good side but they're just ex still experiencing COVID in some areas of the world still but now it's more cooled off there's less restrictions so maybe that allowed them to do more promotion yet next year and maybe that's what they're waiting for because I remember they used to release a lot of trailers like a Road to the Show trailer a Diamond Dynasty trailer a trailer for every mode but this year they didn't really do that what they did mostly this year was the live streams that's what everybody waited for and they really didn't do trailers the only thing that had trailers were the Spanish version trailer because they're not the Spanish version, but the Latin, the Latin, something for the Latin community. Because, you know, I'm Dominican, and tu sabe, we need that Latin community love out here. I hope, hopefully, they could bring the Spanish commentators. I know a lot of people, they want that. We definitely want the Spanish commentators in the game. And the game in Spanish, too, because I know there's a lot of people that play the game, and they only speak Spanish. And you know they probably don't understand how 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 to go around the mode and stuff like that. What stuff says? Holy fuck! Catch that. Let's go, Hazley. But yeah, this video might be too long, so I'm gonna end it here, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're looking for for some content for MLB The Show 22, and comment down what you would like to see me play either you know battle royale i'm i play i play pretty much everything so i'm probably gonna upload everything but just let me know 
what you guys like to watch when you when it comes to um youtubers and then will be the show and stuff like that see ya guys i'm out of here peace out it's gone from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 and this misses for ball four drives it out to deep right center field a ball that's carrying on the warning track he makes the catch the relay throw on the first the double play and he nope. lays off there, ball four. four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. One, here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder going back. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. Shift here, now the pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. In this game. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Giving chase is Nimmo. He's there and records the first down. He's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And that's the second out. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Swing and a line drive. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Got him. On one. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. 1-0 home. Line drive, base hit to right. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Two picks. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. The second for one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. He swings and grounds it to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Turning for second is Castellanos. And he'll reach second now with one away. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Smith is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Pitch of the A.B. on its way. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And the run is in from second as they're on the board for the first time. Four to one now. Count, here it comes. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. Nimmo gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up, and the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. Line, but speared on a hop, and there are two away now. He pitching the dirt. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Put on base. This is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble. I'm set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Nimmo will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And so far, swing and a liner. Paisley is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So a two-run homer down the line in left as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Ty Buttrick 
will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. And now the 2 2. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Luis Guillorme will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Pitch on the way. And he puts it on the ground to second. He's got it. And quickly, there are two away. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Jonathan Hernandez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Here's a blooper out toward left center, and that'll be a base hit. So very quickly here, the potential time run is aboard to start the eighth. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. Reined in, and indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take his sure out. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're... This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. The throw home. The tag, and he's safe. And game seven is tied. Not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes playing. You go to hit it. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the end. Swing and a liner. And there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go-ahead run. For him, Mateo will come on now and pinch run here. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Dominguez is there, and he has it for the first down. Mateo's off and running. A pitch out. The throw, and that'll be in plenty of time, and a perfect call on the pitch out there. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Jorge Mateo will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Edwin Diaz will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ballgame tied until the bottom half. Pitch coming. Here it is. To short. He's right there. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Lucky with the placement. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. 0 and 2. Here it is. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Luis Sessa enters to do the pitching, and best-case scenario for him is to push this one into extra inning. This team not afraid to execute. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. So here's Francisco Lindor now, pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. The two count. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Mancini has got it, and the side is retired. Ball right there, and you get jammed. It's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Paisley patrolling center, makes the play, one out. Two. And he struck him out. Glaber Torres popped up. Alonzo will put this one away, and the side is retired. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's one down now. Matt Beatty is going to come in and pinch hit here as he's the potential winning run here in the bottom half of inning number 10. First pitch to him. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton has a read on it. Two down. Hit back up the middle. Torres scoops it up. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th. Sean Reed Foley takes the mound to start the 11th inning. High and deep to right center. Raging back is Nimmo. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Thing in two count and the pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. That's a non-competitive ball. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Michael King takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Two. Grounded to the right. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Now the one and two pitch. 
Hit out towards second. Throw to first is in time. One gun. Popped him up. Urshela shading to his right. He's got it, and there are two down now. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. And next to hit is the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. So a solo shot down the line in left as they've taken a one-run lead. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. Lindor backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Swing and a liner. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double for five so far. In there, now the throw. And he nails him at third. Great throw. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Smith is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. So the tying runs aboard to kick off the inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Set a closer can have a short-term memory, and this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. Peraza will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Here's the first pitch, and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And they're back on top of the baseball world. The Yankees are once again World Series champs. Well, nobody was good to say they didn't get their money's worth in this one. It took seven games, making this one of the most competitive and historic World Series in baseball history. So they earned this one, and they can now call themselves the World Series champions.